to solve this question, we'll first solve each inequality separately. In our first inequality, we first subtract 9 on both the sides. That gives us x less than 4 minus 9, which is x less than minus 5. And keep those ends in between. In our second inequality, first subtract 5 on both the sides. That gives us 3x less than 4 minus 5 is minus 1. In our second step, we have x less than minus 1 over 3. Uh, let's see our first inequality interval interval notation, which is minus infinity to minus 5. We'll plot this on the graph. Yeah, look for minus 5 on the graph and mark it, and that extends to minus infinity. Mark the arrow on the negative side and shade the region in between those two. We have our second inequality, x less than minus 1 over 3. And that has the interval notation minus infinity to minus 1 over 3. We'll plot this on the graph. Look for minus 1 over 3 on the graph. Mark that and that extends to minus infinity. And now we see that the intersection between those two graphs is x less than minus 5. So we'll write that there, x less than minus 5. And this has the solution set minus infinity to minus 5. This is our solution and we need another final graph to represent this. So mark minus 5 and to minus infinity.